Oh boy, it's that time again, when I have no towers equipped, you guys already know, it's Tower Defense Simulator, but my towers are randomized, part 2. Last time we lost, but I really do think we can win. I think what we need is just to get better towers. So, I added a bunch of event towers that I didn't have before, so now we're gonna just take a look at what we can do. Farm? Oh my gosh, that's already a freaking game changer, honestly. I'm gonna hit remove this time, because, you know, I kinda have to remove them so that I don't get them again. Hunter? Eh. That's not terrible. And I can always handle a decent bit of DPS. Medic, we got that last time and that wasn't too good, but, you know, just something that kind of stuns at the end is decent. Uh, which one's that? Cowboy. Alright, uh, Cowboy did get a buff, so I am thinking that it might be a decent option. Demo man, I don't know about that. Okay. And that's all my towers, so here we go. Well, we've got all our towers. Now it's time to go find the map. I think this is the map I want to do. Not only because it showed up quickly, but because it's just a pretty good map in general. Last time I did this challenge, I did it on normal mode. This time we're going to try multi mode. Because that's apparently easier than normal mode for some reason. And I've known that it's better for a while, but I wanted to see just why it was better, so... I never really got to play normal mode. You know, when I was beginning, obviously, I played normal mode, but... I just wanted to see why normal was better than molten last time. This time, we actually have a pretty good loadout. So we're gonna go with Molten, and we're just gonna try and win. As for early game, I think Hunter will be able to handle it pretty well. We're just gonna play Spawn right here. And let's just see how good that does. So it has decent fire rate and decent damage. I don't entirely think it's enough to one-shot the zombies that will um, appear on this mode, which is an issue. Uh, if I want to, I can set this to strongest, and then, yeah, they have 4 health. So what, uh, what this will do is this will prioritize damage. So see how it takes 1 damage there, then it gets this one down to 1 health, that one down to 1, that one down to 1 health, and that one down to 1 health. Now it's basically just about killing the rest of them. We're obviously not going to do this without losing lives, that is way too difficult with this slowdown. We're just gonna get to farming now. I guess, oh, that was lag. Um, farming is going to be incredibly useful in this. So let's just begin farming as the enemies. Oh, I don't know if I like what they did with the enemies. In more recent updates, they made it so that it's a little more realistic, I believe, but I personally don't like it much. Placing the direction of your farms doesn't matter, but it's just uh, so unsatisfying to not have, like, farms that are rotated. If I level up the hunter, ooh, it's quite a lot more fire rate on, uh, for its price. Let's say I get that. And it gets hidden detection, which we are gonna need anyway. That upgrade should make it fire just fast enough to hopefully hit all these enemies. If it does, that would probably be pretty nice. Yeah, it at least hits all the enemies. Uh, we got enough for this upgrade, so now I can actually set this to target first. Oh great, the fast enemies. Now it doesn't even matter. Nope, oh, whatever. Going back to farming. If 
farming is our big priority. If we can make it to the late game through farming, that would be really nice. We got a lot of zombies we need to kill, though. We got just some speedy ones, some normal ones. Yeah, and our health is very slowly going down. Hopefully we can survive a bit. If I can get a medic down, that might help, but... Right now, oh no, it slows. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna change targeting. Um, I will upgrade though. So I feel like that upgrade will be useful. It basically doubles its damage. Well, that does double its damage, not basically. So if I can just skip this, get the money from my farms, and then just buy this upgrade, there we go. Now it can one shot these. Now what I probably want is just a cowboy. We'll say like right here, it doesn't really matter. Cowboys earn extra money. So they'll be effective. They would have been effective if we didn't have farm. We'll get that upgrade so that it makes cash quicker. And then... Now we just wait, and there's some money. So it doesn't make much, but it makes something. And it helps out with damage. Now I won't do much to some of the higher health enemies, because Hunter can already easily destroy those. However, it will help with the lower health enemies. We have a boss, and I'm not really that concerned about it. Has 160 health, but not only can we tank a lot of lives, but Hunter should be able to bring it down quite a lot. Like, yeah, we can already tank this. I want to bring it down as much as possible. I'm not going to skip. And, uh, yeah, Hunter seems to be working. And, boom, that was easy. Get back to farming now. And now I want to place down probably a second hunter. These are very effective, surprisingly. I remember these were effective during the um, uh, night uh, three, I think. These were effective uh, for solar eclipse. Hunters used to be a really good strategy. I wonder if they've gotten buffed since then. Their damage seems to be better. Or at least their DPS. Two hunters should easily be able to take down these bosses, plus I'll start preparing a third one. The quicker I can prepare a third one, the better things will be. And normal boss is slowly dying. And it's gone. I don't have to farm for a bit, because we will need to... Yeah, the hiddens are gonna be a bit of an issue. Luckily, yeah, they're getting destroyed, basically. They would have been an issue, but they aren't really much of an issue like I thought they would be. And now we're earning quite a bit of income, and the hunters are destroying uh, most enemies. Unfortunately, this time I didn't really get a late game tower like Minigunner. I might just have to go with Hunter for late game, honestly. Yeah, I say we go with Hunter for late game. Like, let's get this one up to the next level. And 24 damage is pretty decent, honestly. Yeah, the hiddens, they are going to be destroyed. And we're slowly going to upgrade farms because. Not much of a point in keeping farming. I don't know what the hunter limit is, but... Um, I said we'll probably hit it this game, just because of the fact we have farms. Uh, the mysteries could be an issue. Uh, depends on our RNG. And not terrible. We only got one boss. Plus I can just max that hunter, and then this hunter, and now we can shred bosses pretty easily. Now I'm just going to keep upgrading farms, and yep, these bosses are getting destroyed now. 
Very slow progress, but we're slowly going to be doing more damage. Um, I could buy a max farm. Eh, sure, I guess I will. Now, what I want to do is I want to get a bunch of cowboys near spawn. Because if I do this, I can get a lot of money. Level 2 is really what I want to get on them. I don't really care much about level 3. Level 4 will be useful. Level 3, not really. Oh, goodness. A lot of normal bosses. Or normal bosses, I'm so used to fall mode. Oh, great, Necromancer. Uh, we're already kind of struggling a bit. Not really, honestly. Um, cowboy, 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 cowboy. Get these all to level 3. And we just earn a lot of money off of them. That's really the point, is just to make money off the cowboys. Like, there isn't much of another point. I'm gonna max another farm, because I can make my money back. Max another farm, and with this money, and eh, let's just upgrade another farm. Molten's won't be that difficult. Uh, 100 health. Oof, the hunters are starting to struggle a bit. Uh, maybe I should get a fourth hunter. Or I could try Demo Man. I don't think this is really that good of a tower, but let's see. Oh. Yeah, I can see why it's not that good. I mean, it could be good in groups, I guess. Which is what I'm gonna try. The group damage might not be terrible. Plus, we can start leveling up the Cowboys for faster attack speed. Which is exactly what I want to do. I want to start getting faster attack speed on the Cowboys to earn more money. Our farms make so much at this point that we can just start leveling up our cowboys. Like level 4, level 4, level 4. That one's still level 2. Like, at this point, the normal bosses won't be that difficult. Oh, the slow boss, though. That one will actually be a challenge. Because we don't have anything like minigunner, accelerator, literally anything could have helped against this. Let's just get more hunters down. These are our main damage dealers. Medic might be a decent option, honestly. I'll place it down next wave, honestly. Try and get a max one really quickly. Farms don't really matter, because these don't cost much to max. Level 4. Slowly saving up with cowboys. Another slow boss. Should be fine. The Necromancer might be a little bit of an issue because by that time uh, we start attacking it, slow boss will already. Yeah, it's already a bit of the way through the track. Yeah. Uh, we're good though. Now it's time to get a medic. Oh goodness, hidden boss. Okay. Actually, this is gonna have a decent bit of health. Uh, dead though. Okay. Start getting a max level medic here. These actually do pretty decent damage. Plus, they have the stun cleanse, which will be useful in later waves. Back to hunters, though. And then, if we want to, we can start buying level 5 cowboys. Which I think I'm gonna do, honestly. Because then they get really good damage. Um, is that glitched animation? Or is that how the animation is supposed to be? I can't even tell. Animations are so weird on some of these towers. Yeah, the cowboys are actually doing pretty good damage. That's surprising. Alright. Um, another max level cowboy. Um, slow boss. That's probably not going to be good. Oh, the hidden bosses. Uh, this might be a bit of an issue. This might be a bit of an issue. Nope. Uh, we can get another hunter down. That'll help a bit. And then how about just another one? Like, these are our main damage dealers at this point. The cowboys do decent, but I don't think they do enough. I know the... 
Hellboys actually do a decent bit of damage. Like, let's see. It's 18 damage, 0 0.5. Oh, goodness. That's a lot more, actually. I was completely not expecting that. Yeah, that's a lot more. A lot, lot more than I thought. So yeah, it's just about getting more max cowboys. The speedy boss, no big deal. Sure, that's quite a lot of health, but cowboys can shred it, basically. I'm honestly surprised. When you have a random loadout, you don't expect to get really that good of towers, and then you get a tower that you really don't use often, and then it's like, this is actually pretty good. It like genuinely amazes me that Cowboy is actually getting a use for once. Because this tower has basically never been useful. Like, you got it for beating Badlands on Fallen. For me, Malton, because it used to be Malton, but... You know. Whatever. Um... Um... Yeah, that... It's just a small issue, making it pretty far. Okay, we need more cowboys, and we need to place them in better spots. I see the cowboy's weakness is its range. Let's get one in the middle. Oh goodness, mystery bosses. Okay, this could be our death if we're not careful. RNG, please be on our side. Hidden boss, hidden boss, necromancer, speedy boss. Uh, RNG was on our side. Okay. Another hunter. Oh, jeez. Uh, we can kill that. It's going to be tough, though. Another cowboy. That's a lot of slow bosses. Cowboys are starting to earn quite a lot of cash. So we just might as well start spamming cowboys. Not only do they earn extra money, but they out DPS Hunter, surprisingly. Heck, Demo Man's also doing pretty good. That's surprising, right? Because I thought Demo Man was like a really bad tower, but I guess I was wrong. And then, yeah, Speedy Boss gets destroyed. Slow bosses, they do have a decent bit of health, which does concern me. Like, at this point, we're basically supposed to be set so that we don't die. But that's not what it looks like right now. Because normally you have a ton of max accelerators, a ton of max just everything, and that, oh jeez. We're gonna have to skip. We're just gonna have to pray, okay. Oh, we're bringing back hunters. Okay, please, hunters, you got this. Oh, gosh. Um, we're selling farms. I'm desperate. Now nah, that okay, this map's really short. Okay. Ain't that great. Well, hey, we at least did better this time. I'm pretty sure last time we got, like, under 100 coins and, like, 60 EXP. This time we got actually a decent amount of coins and decent bit of EXP. You know, I'll take that, and I'll see you guys next time.